So when it comes to toggling security aspects of your virtual machine, um, the first element we get to talk about is a shielded VM. So one little element that you may not really get to toggle when you're creating a virtual machine is how that VM is booted. You may be running very secure workloads. It could be payment information and you want, you want to ensure that down from the bottom of how the node starts up and how it boots up your uh, VM, you want to have 100% assurance from Google that nothing at, a, at that low level can be compromised. Well, Google offers you the product of a shielded virtual that offer services like secure boot um, and integrity monitoring. Low level, so low level malware or rootkits that may have been that may compromise certain uh, VMs on their booting process. Um, not only can be prevented and also can be monitored. So the only way for you to use a shielded VM is to select a shielded, shielded um, image. And you have to come all the way back here to your boot disk and enable the use of shielded virtual machine. And you can already note that they all have this um, kind of shield to let you know that, hey, that these different images support the use of um, shielded virtual machine features. And the beauty about this is that it comes at no extra cost. So if you check the cost section, nothing's been added, which is pretty cool. So now you have the ability to turn on uh, secure boot and all these other things, all these other uh, secure features. And so when it comes to SSH keys, a user an organization may say, hey, we want to be able to control access to the virtual machines that have been created. So we can go ahead and offer Google a set of project-wide SSH keys that pertain to a set of users who are given authority or authorization to go ahead and access your virtual machine. So what's great is you can come in and put your public key information here. And so only users with their private key have ability to connect to these virtual machines. Now, I want to mention that that's important for me to state that the moment you do this and you use your own uh, SSH keys, you automatically block off quite a significant portion of your organization who do not have those private keys. However, when you allow Google to manage the use of the keys when it comes to accessing VMs, Google will go ahead and use the cloud IAM, so Identity and Access Management, to figure out, hey, who has authorization to access this project and who has the required scopes to access this particular VM. 